Hello guys, my name is Jesper Nissen from Yax, and in this video I will show you how to integrate your Contabo Cloud with Yax. Alright, so you have set up your Contabo Cloud account and you are logged into your Contabo account and you have ordered an object storage region. So let me click over here to the left, object storage, uh, go to object storage panel. So this is what the object storage panel looks like. So what you need to do is, let me just click over to YAC so we can see what we need. Connectivity, Contabo, Oops. add new. So we need the uh, access key, we need the secret key, and we need the region, which is what you selected when you purchased your cloud storage and we need the tenant ID also. So let's see how we achieve that feed. So you click over here in the left menu on security and access and then you scroll down and I won't scroll down because then you can actually see my access key. Uh, and I won't, then it's, it's global. Okay. You won't be able to see my secret key anyway, but uh, but you scroll down and you can see here, this is the S3 object storage credential. And uh, these credentials are used for the S3 command line interface, as it's called, but it's also used in our integration. So what you need to do is you need to copy this guy. Just put it there. And then you need to copy the uh, secret key. I won't do that now. And let me show you how you actually get the tenant ID, which you also need. So this is a little bit tricky. So what you need to do is you actually need to create a bucket. So let me click create a bucket. And uh, let me call it tenant, tenant ID test. And I have ordered cloud storage both in the United States and in the European Union, but let's just, let's take the United States. Create box. Okay, so tenant ID tests. And when I select public sharing, I can make it public and confirm. And uh, when I click this guy here, I can now copy you know, this URL of the buckets, and this is what it looks like. This is what the bucket URL will then look like. And it's a little bit strange URL, but yeah, that's how Contabo works. You can see up here in the URL that this guy here, it comes after uscu1.contabostorage.com and then the backslash here. And all of this up until the semicolon here, that's the tenant ID, tenant tenant ID. So um, yeah, I'll just copy the entire URL and paste it here because then I can actually use it inside of Yax. So let me go over to Yax and it was US. So let me click add new and select my client and name Contabo US. So that's the name of the integration and the key. That's the access key. Okay. Good. Here and the secret key is. Uh, let me go over here. Cancel account. Oh, where is it? Security secret key. I'll just copy it from here. And United States, and then the tenant ID is this guy here. Copy, connect, and I'm now done. Contabo US, good. I can now test it. I can. Uh, I'll just select this guy here. Test one page dot IBM. Upload. Contabo. Yes, pa. Contabo. US, oops, Contabo US. I'll select, a, I'll create a new bucket. Contabo test 
Now let me call yaks test. Yaks test one, two, three, four. Add test one. Oh, add bit directory. Upload. Let's see how fast this API is. You know that uh, some are fast, some are slow. It was relatively fast. You click this guy. All right, so I can see that uh, now the web page has been uploaded to Contabo Cloud. And the URL looks like this. It's called usc1.contabostores.com, backslash, and then the tenant ID, semicolon. And then the bucket name, yaks test1234, slash test1, slash test1 page. So let's see how powerful this guy is. It has domain authority 29 and page authority 21. So uh, I'm basically done. And this was the integration of Contable Cloud to Yex.